Steve from Minecraft, me costume, Springman potentially coming to Smash, and more. Let's talk about it. Block What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be all your content for today. And we actually have a triple feature today. Yes, we are going to be talking about three different aspects of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate universe. And I think there's a lot to be believed in the past couple of weeks. We've been getting a lot closer to E3 times where normally we would be getting these media briefings, these awesome events, these big online videos, these conferences that happen in person, and we get to see all this information come together. But of course, this year, with everything going on in the world, it does seem like things are getting a little bit to a halt. And especially with Nintendo, we've heard multiple reports of things actually not lining up there anymore like we might not be getting a Nintendo Direct anytime soon and they might be dropping news on Twitter or other social media outlets just outright within the couple of weeks right but so today we get to talk about something that you are all very excited for and a lot of you people have basically sent this to me and want me to talk about it so let's just get into the news right now because it's not only Super Smash Brothers Ultimate presenting Mr. Sakurai talking about Spring Man so that's already an awesome piece of information and something called Super Remix, which supposedly is bringing together a whole lot of Nintendo franchises together in one game and actually arriving pretty soon. And also, let's talk about a Mother Remake or Remaster. Yes, it's going to be a crazy episode today, and we're even going to be talking about potentially Steve coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but not in the way that you might think. So, I'm very happy that you guys are all here, and I've been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Ultimate and New Fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. Questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube videos? Well, whatever you can think of, send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question in our next Question Blocked episode. And here is a brand new giveaway. You can win one of these Super Mario Surprise capsules. They're really cute. Open them up. There's a figure inside there. They're really sturdy and awesome. And if you like this video, comment and let me know why you deserve it. Well, maybe you can win one of them. All right, guys. Let's head into the main topic of today, and the first order of business is I wanted to talk about this little tag about Steve from Minecraft, and it just says, he's coming to smash, dot dot dot. But then it continues with a cool screenshot over there, dot dot dot, but only as a premium me costume, like Sans in Cuphead. So a lot of people have already said this when, of course, the Sans costume and the Cuphead costumes were announced, hey, it kind of does make sense for two particular characters to also be in this same category. And of course, the two characters that I'm talking about are Steve from Minecraft and then Gino from Super Mario RPG, both characters that, you know, feel like they could be Mii costumes. And Gino, of course, because he was already a Mii costume in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. But for Steve, it kind of does feel like a right way to kind of approach the character. It does feel like he would fit within that Mii fighter, you know, physique, that basically fighter style of the sword fighter. So yeah, I think that it does kind of make sense. It'll make a lot of people kind of sad because there is definite moves that potential for that character so I could really see it going either way but yeah thinking about this I mean there's no way to verify this in any way but a premium me costume for this character would make total sense in my book and I think a lot of people would also be very happy I mean it wouldn't be a pack with a character with all these special moves and cool stuff and you know getting its own spirits well it could possibly still get its own spirit board I suppose or you know spirits or a challenge or something like that but yeah it wouldn't be getting music or maybe we just just one piece of music kind of like with Sans or Cuphead and then probably wouldn't even come with other details like a stage so that to me is a little bit concerning if we do end up getting a character like this as a full-fledged character we just get a whole lot more content with it but if we just get the me costume chances are it'll only be a piece of music but of course they've already been playing very nice with Microsoft right I mean Banjo is in Smash Brothers and he's owned by Microsoft so that is a huge deal so that's all about that character and let's move on to potentially an Earthbound remake coming soon. So it has a picture that just says Mother, the logo, and then it goes on to say Earthbound remake slash remaster announcement incoming. 
release set for September 18th. Well, obviously, it's going to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. The working title is just Mother 2, which isn't too much to go off on, but the word Earthbound hasn't actually come up. I assume this will come to the West, but given the history of the series and Western releases, take it with a grain of salt. It's only Earthbound slash Mother 2, nothing for Mother 1 or Earthbound Beginnings, or Mother 3, right? Potentially Earthbound 2. Doesn't really make sense, all this stuff. Updated visuals similar to Link's Awakening 2019, so basically that cute style, you know, with basically the claymation thing which is, was really cool and I love the camera tilt shift too. Updated visuals, except everything has a clay style feel. Falls right in line with the original clay model style slash other stylized games Nintendo has been pushing lately. An example would be Yoshi Crafted World and of course a lot of other games like, you know, Kirby's Epic Yarn and Paper Mario the Origami King. They all kind of use that kind of same aesthetic as if it could be a children's playroom game coincides with the Hobonichi Mother Project. More content coming soon, according to some translated text. And of course, this Hobonichi Project is something of a passion project, is bringing together more love for the series. And like I said, no Mother 3 news slash plans yet, it seems. Also, no word on plans to update Mother 1 or Earthbound Beginnings. The announcement directly from Nintendo is on June 11th, with right now is not that far away, will just be dropped like Paper Mario. So if they continue this franchise and they do it in this way, and it's going to be a big Earthbound remake, I mean, I can just tell a lot of people are going to be very excited about that. That game is such a gem and everyone who's played Earthbound knows how special it is, how good the humor is, how great the characters in the world is, and essentially just the idea of the game, you know, taking basically suburban America and making an RPG there, you know, and it isn't like fantasy with like, you know, this classic style that you, you know, the medieval feeling. It's just very contemporary, and that game has a very special place in a lot of gamers' hearts. And I mean, that's a very big reason why NES is in Smash Brothers in the first place, right? Join in Super Smash Brothers 64 just because that game was so prolific, and now the character everyone basically knows NES from Smash Brothers, and we know we never really get those big re-releases or remasters other than Earthbound Beginnings. So I definitely feel like this would be a very great move, and I can't wait to see screenshots if this is real because that graphical style is going to be amazing. So one more thing we get to talk about is something called Super Remix, and it's saying Nintendo is about to get mixed reviews. On Sunday, May 31st, 2020, which is also coming up soon, Nintendo will reveal a game titled Super Remix. Super Remix is a puzzle game with platforming elements and will be made available right after the reveal trailer. Nintendo describes it as a celebration of their history in handheld gaming. This game is intended to be played in handheld mode while on a road trip, on a train, or at a pool party. It'll feature elements from game franchises such as Game & Watch, WarioWare, Pokemon, and Rhythm Heaven. Needless to say, it's pretty wild. The game is free, but quite short. And if you want to play it on launch day, 15 levels which you can get through pretty quickly. More levels will follow every Sunday until August the 2nd, varying from 2 to 6 levels per release. The main developer of the game is Intelligent Systems. So, not too much to go off of here, but it is very interesting to talk about the fact that we will be getting Game & Watch content, WarioWare, Pokemon, and Rhythm Heaven. You know, all games that have some sort of mini-game or puzzle element to it, which I really love. And Super Remix does kind of make sense, right? I mean, they really want to push a lot of Nintendo stuff this year because, of course, it's very difficult to continue the progress on all these huge games with everything going on in the world. Maybe something like this is easily put together, and getting it after a reveal trailer, to me, screams like Nintendo just really wants us to play, and I love that idea. So the last thing that I get to talk about today is something that a lot of you guys have been sending me and were, like, freaking out about, and that's this screenshot saying, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Sakurai presents Spring Man. It's an unlisted screenshot from YouTube, that's crazy, and it just said, private Sakurai video. Listen, I was recently given access to a private video on Nintendo's YouTube channel, which turns out to be the next Sakurai Presents video. In it, the ARMS character is revealed, which is Springman from ARMS. 
his alts are just recolors. No multiple character situation. Attached is a photo of the video at the point where they reveal the song selection. I'm not sure when this will go live. All I know is that it exists. And of course has a lot of ARMS songs right there and actually the cool League logo right there. Well, I can tell you guys, I did my research and this is not real. This screenshot actually exists and it looks like this. So no, this is just the assist trophy of Spring Man. So thank you guys for all sending it to me. And I'm sorry to say that this has been debunked. This is just some guy who made a screenshot and didn't even print screen it. He made a photo of his screen. And that's how a lot of you people can know that this is not real. So yeah, I mean, a lot of things to talk about in this episode, a lot of things to break down. I'm really curious if you guys have any thoughts and all that leaked information, maybe something about Steve from Minecraft coming to Smash Brothers Ultimate. Of course, that super remix business sounds really interesting. And then again, do you really want Springman and Smash Brothers from ARMS or a different ARMS character? I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, well, do you think that super remix is real? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer actually comes from our user, Carlosel Chicken Nuggy, saying, going off topic, I had a strange dream that Nintendo announced Nintendo 64 online today, but that dream might become true because of this leak, but the Mario Collection and Kirby, best Nintendo franchise, instead of Nintendo 64 online. Well, Carlos, thank you so much for sending in your comment. I've been having really weird dreams the last couple of weeks too. Um, it's been really strange that all this Nintendo business is kind of blowing up at the moment and we don't know if there's, you know, going to be a lot of reveals coming because they were dropping things online or if that is indicative of them basically not dropping anything anytime soon in a big Nintendo Direct. So yeah, Thinking about all that Mario Collection stuff, that could actually be a huge deal. I mean, I talked with a friend yesterday about how prolific Super Mario 64 is and how big of a deal it would be to get a remaster of that game and what it would mean and, you know, all the glitches in the game and what they still keep stuff in that the fans really love. So, yeah, I mean, share your dreams, everybody. I think it's a lot of fun to talk about what subconsciously we are thinking about and what the things are that are in our hopes and dreams. So, yeah, a new Kirby game, I would be totally for as well. So, thank you so much for sending in your comments, everybody. These are so much fun to read through. And, of course, a big shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. I mean, you guys are really supportive supporting this channel hard in this crazy time and I can't thank you enough because that's why I get to do what I do and make you guys happy and get to talk about the things that I love. Go to patreon.com slash blocked content to support me. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, hit subscribe now, smash that like button and ring the bell for notifications and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya!